the Panama Canal can only handle about 35 shifts per day. This is an example of rate limiting. Rate limiting controls how many requests your system handles over time to prevent overloading. In Python, you can set a maximum number of requests per time window, like 1,000 API calls per minute. If someone exceeds that, you can reject their request with a 429 error code. When ships exceed the Panama Canal's capacity, they don't just disappear, they queue up, sometimes waiting days. This is called back pressure. Downstream components can't keep up, so traffic backs up upstream. Your database might only handle 1,000 writes per second, but if your API accepts 10,000 requests per second without rate limiting, requests pile up until your system crashes. Throughput is the actual successful operations completed. So the canal's input isn't ships entering, it's actually ships that make it through. And when droughts hit, the canal drops from 35 ships to only about 24 ships per day, just like you lower rate limits during high system load. Common rate limiting algorithms include token bucket, which refills tokens at a fixed rate, and sliding window, which tracks requests over time. This powers API gateways, prevents DDoS attacks, and ensures system stability. Follow for more system design.